wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to install one of these farm tank float valves. We've had this galvanized tank for a while and uh, I'll be honest, when it's hot out, I really don't like having to keep this thing filled up in the mornings and in the evenings. So for 20 bucks with one of these DARE float tank valves for a Merle King, uh, we can hook it up, let it run, and don't have to worry about it. So I have some screenshots that show you all the parts that come with it. Um, I've taken out all of the parts that will be used for installation onto a galvanized tank. Um, you can also install these on, on rubber um, or polypropylene tanks. Um, again, it comes with all the parts and the directions, but what you see here is just for a galvanized tank. So it's pretty simple. Um, the directions state to take these long clamps. Again, it comes with another set of clamps shorter for the poly tanks. Um, you can see there's two holes. One, two, that's for adjusting the depth of the water in your tank. Um, I want my water to be up to the top because this is going to be watering horses and sheep, so it needs to be a little bit higher. So I'm going to take these uh, Phillips head screws and thread them through. Right here. Second one in, good to go. So now um, we take our float and you can see the float actually comes with a cotter key. Oops, let me move this over here. I'm gonna get this boxed out of the way. The float comes with a cotter key. You install the float inside the housing there. And if you can see right here, there's a little hole. That's where your cotter key goes through. And you gotta line it up. tap you can see we've got it through now our float is in we're good to go so I'm just gonna take this cotter key and pull that up just a little bit so it catches and doesn't slide out and you'll see there's two little um, I guess compression fittings that actually slide into here they are to um, help with the stabilization of the water and so for the metal it actually calls for the standard and the hose washer number 1257. So the standard goes in first and they actually have them numbered. So I don't know if you can see that right there. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, 1394 goes in first. So the one thing that is not included in the package that you need to pick up is the hose washer, right? So just the standard garden hose washer. I think you can get these at Walmart or your hardware store. They're probably like 75 cents, maybe a dollar or less. You can probably get a package of them with O-rings and other standard fittings. For a couple bucks so when you buy this make sure that you buy the package with the standard hose washer um, i know when i showed you earlier that it states that for the galvanized stock tank it has to have the uh, the the fish the pressure fitting on here number 1394r so i wanted to be able to show you that it's stamped on there 1394r so a couple things real quick before i do this pressure fitting 1394r goes in first then the hose washer goes on on top of that yeah, you can see you kind of gotta push it down in there everything sets pretty flush let me check and make sure that that looks good it looks good so next trick i will show you is how to put it on the garden hose so you don't look like a fool and your neighbors aren't laughing at you all right this might be pretty self-explanatory for most folks but for me um, I'm not gonna lie unfortunately it was not not a good idea to install this and then try to put your hose on it as you're twisting and turning the hose onto a stationary object so the easiest process is take the stock tank take your hose I got a little bit of mud the threads there there we go and screw the float valve onto the hose like this if you don't your neighbors might get a good laugh as you're walking around your water tank and saying bad words so all right it's on now we install it to the tank so as i'm threading this onto the side of the tank um if you would look across the side there where you see the water line it's very important when you're putting these in that you set your tank in a level area 
because if you don't, obviously, if it's not level, water's going to be higher at one end and lower at the other. Um, I, probably almost impossible to find a completely level area when you're out in a pasture or out in the field. Um, so the directions state to always put the check valve at the end that has the highest level. So obviously, I'm pretty level. Across there, you can see the water line. Um, if it wasn't level, water would be higher and lower at one end. If it's higher, you always want to put the valve at the higher end because if you don't and you install it at the lower end, it'll never fill up. It'll never build up enough pressure to actually shut it off and check it. Uh, the next thing I'll tell you, when it comes to water hoses, if you're a cheapskate like me, you always try to buy the cheapest water hoses at the uh, Walmart lawn and garden section because you know you're going to hit it with a mower or you're going to cut it or do something with it. Man, with this thing, don't do that. Um, those hoses do not have enough ply and cannot withstand enough built up pressure over time. And if you buy a cheap hose, what will happen is you will leave one day after two or three weeks and you will come back to a ruptured hose and running water everywhere. So spend another 10 or 20 bucks um, and splurge a little bit on a better hose and save yourself some time and worry. So that's it, we're installed. It's put together, it's attached. Our hose is on there and you did it the right way. You weren't dancing around your water tank. We've installed it on the high end. Let's turn it on and see what it does. All right, so if I've done this right, we've turned the water on, the tank is filling, and within a few seconds here, it should start to pressurize and automatically shut itself off. There it is, done, installed, water's running. As your animals drink out of this and the water level goes down, it'll automatically kick back on and slowly fill it up. No more having to keep in check with your water levels and make sure that your animals are taken care of. Hope you liked this video. See you next time.